All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. Keep it clean, touch gloves if you wish, and let's do it. Sweaty palms. This is so crazy. Like goosebumps. This is so crazy. I feel so nervous. Like, what in the yeah. world, man? And look at, look at, look at Jorge. Talking to him. Usman is, is, is stoic, though. Ready. Calm. Ready. Let's fight. All right, the UFC welterweight championship is underway. Jorge Masvidal in the red trunks. Kamara Usman in the black and gold as befits a champion. Usman had a beautiful jab against Gilbert Burns, and then he would switch to southpaw and land the front hand jab, his power hand. That's what he finished Burns with. Let's see how quickly he switches his stance tonight against Masvidal, a much higher level striker. Masvidal is so slippery on his feet. He's so slick. Tyron Woodley once called him the best boxer in the UFC. Seems to be attacking that lead leg of Usman early. In just a stand-up realm, Masvidal is a handful for anybody, man. Technique is tight. Everything comes from where it's supposed to. Comfortable and confident is Jorge game-bred Masvidal. And he's tremendously durable. We've never really seen him hurt. Never really seen him in deep trouble inside the octagon. Oh, oh and he just got stung. That's nice right hand by Usman. But Masvidal ate it. Usman has a beautiful right hand, man. It, it doesn't seem fast, but it always seems to land. And he can put you out. You saw him break down Kobe Covington with that shot over the course of five rounds and put him down and finished him in the fifth. We also have to recognize that he's getting better as a striker. His background is in wrestling. But over the course of his career inside the octagon, we've seen him get more and more efficient and smooth with his striking. And he's been coached by two of the best striking minds in the game, Henry Hooft and now Trevor Whitman, as Usman effectively attacks the body there. Usman's doing a real good job with his jab right now. And he's mixing up the target on that jab to the body, then to the head. And twice now, he's landed that beautiful right hand. You know, Kamara Usman has such a great high crotch to your left leg that when he dips on that body jab, you have got to respect it and be ready to defend takedowns. Because if you don't, that's what's gonna happen. Powerful takedown early from Usman. Beautiful takedown by Usman. Got to the body and just exploded into that takedown finish. Now he's in the guard of Masvidal. He's hitting the back of the head yeah. here, and Herb Multiple Dean's warning times. him. Masvidal likes to get feet on the hips and push you off. But he's very good defensively off of his back, and he can cut you from this position as well. Yeah, some slicing elbows from Masvidal on his back. Under two minutes now in round one. But Usman's happy here. Usman's oh. fine with being on top here. That was a big elbow a by big Usman. Big elbow there by Usman. Because this is his comfort zone in the wrestling. He's on top. He's grappling. That is where he wants to be against Masvidal. Masvidal landed a beautiful elbow right he there. He did. Those are hard elbows. And from a good angle for him. And now Game Bread trying to use the fence to get upright. Nice stand up there by Masvidal, but he's got to move Usman's head inside. As long as Usman's head is on the outside, Masvidal will not be able to get, be able to get away from him. If he starts to use his right arm to shift the head inside, then he can start to face him again. But Kamaru's so strong, man. So physically gifted for the weight class. But Great hand control by Masvidal to get back up. Under a minute now to go in the round. Usman back to work to the body. Inside leg kick for Game Bread. Oh, 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 big right hand by Usman. That one, oh, that one. A good jab, too. Oh, see, and that's where Usman looks a little bit. That's yeah, where man. you can see the inexperience in the striking, right? When he tries to load up. When he's comfortable and he's letting everything fly, like he right lands, there. but like right there, right? Yeah. You see a little bit of the striking experience because Usman loads up and throws wild. 
but I think he tightens up a little bit when he faces a guy like Jorge, who's so efficient. But he's done a good job of landing, right? Usman's landed the punches this round, but, oh! There's that knee, appeared to get through. Beautiful knee there by Masvidal. Round one in the books. Dean Thomas, talk to me, my man. What do you have? Going down to the body with that jab. That jab is going to pay its dividends later on in the fight. Also, too, that's also set up the right hand for him. But be careful with the leg kicks of Masvidal. Usman doesn't have a lot of meat around them legs. He's going to try to use that to set up some shots later on in the fight. So watch the leg kicks for Masvidal. Thank you, Dean. In terms of those low leg kicks, a lot of fighters say it's just toughness. It doesn't have to do with genetics necessarily, but you don't want to take too many more of those. Even watching Masvidal in the first round, right? Masvidal didn't have to rush like he did in the first fight because he had to empty the tank in round one because he knew he only had a round of cardio. This time he was able to fight through round one and he still feels good and confident starting round two. And of all the superlatives, we oh! oh! Close! Oh, with a huge the shot! Right right hand. Still undisputed! Right hand. And Tino oh! does the right hand! That is the right hand! Oh my goodness! Kamaru's right hand, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Right hand is ridiculous! Oh my god! Oh, oh my man. god! That is so perfect! Oh my goodness! It's literally the perfect right hand. And look, he is out completely oh. cold. There's no question whatsoever oh, what happened. Look at that. Look at how limp he is when he goes down. Whole body went limp. Perfect punch. He tried to wake up. Look, watch. After it hits, boom. Look at He's out cold. Look, you see him try to get up. He's trying here. Hammer fist and got the hammer fist yep. shut the lights out for good. You, you, you Insane. Know, you know, John said, Kamaro said he wants to show a better version. Guess what? Johnny's better. And boy, that's a scary thought. It doesn't get better. That's how, a scary how you, thought. How, how can you get better? One final time tonight, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, two seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare.